practice. Who's going to be first today? Kyle! Uh-uh, it's your turn! Uh-uh, I went yesterday! All right, all right, wait, 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 let's not argue. Kyle, why don't you go brush your teeth and get ready for school, and while you're doing that, I'll practice with Shelly, and then it'll be your turn. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay, Shelly, let's see what let's we're going to do Let's face it, today. life is hectic for families today. It's tough on kids and adults. How about Russian folk dance? It really is hard to find a way to hold everyone together, but I think we found it. We're like all parents. I have to play referee and I have to play traffic cop sometimes. Sometimes I have to tell the kids to go to the piano, then sometimes I have to tell them to stop. But one thing Rick and I knew that we wanted for our children for our whole family was that we wanted them to know the lifelong joy of music. Okay, Shelly, let's do this part one more time. Mom, I'm ready. Uh, we'll work on this some more tomorrow, okay? Come on, Kyle, let's go ahead and work on your piece. Having the kids practice in the morning has worked best for us. The kids are fresh, and then after school they have so many other activities. Debbie, I've got to go. Oh. Okay, listen, Mom and Dad have an anniversary coming up real soon. We need to make some plans. Okay, I'll call you from the office and we'll talk about it. Okay, that's good. Bye-bye. Bye. Kids, time to go. Okay, let's go. Hurry. Come on, Steve. It seems like we're constantly in the car. Poor Amy, I think she spent half of her life in the car. But we take music with us. Mom, can you put in the tape? Sure, which one do you want? I found it in a book. I found that tapes are a big help. Classical tapes they listen to, folk songs, all kinds of music. We sing a lot. The little ones really enjoy singing, and it keeps them from getting fussy when we travel. Music is something that brings our family together. It's something we enjoy doing together. Rick grew up around music in his house. There was a lot of music in my house, and we wanted to have a lot of music in our house. Um, even in the car, when I turn the music on, it's amazing to me how the atmosphere changes, how the kids become more cooperative, and how they love to sing along with the tapes. Um, and then when we thought about instruments with the children, we knew that we wanted them to learn piano first because with piano you learn the basics, you learn how to read, you learn how to just make music by yourself and enjoy it by yourself. And then they can go on and learn other instruments if they want to and it'll be much easier. For me, music is for fun and relaxation. I play bass guitar, it's not as complicated as the piano. I learned to play piano when I was growing up and it helped me learn how to read music. That helps in working out the bass parts. I uh, really enjoy getting together with my friends. We play and sing songs. It drives our wives crazy. You put this together? Yeah. It's more fun to be okay. a participant than it is to be a spectator. You. We'll on you. They see us having a good time together, and we think that they'll learn something that they can share with us and something that they'll enjoy all their lives, even as they get older. Debbie, what was that idea you were telling me about this morning? Oh, yeah. You know, Mom and Dad have an anniversary coming up. It's coming up real soon. I have an idea that's a little different. What's that? Well, you know how Mom and Dad feel about music. Yeah, it's real important to them. I mean, the whole family. Yeah, and Kyle and Shelley like to perform, and Lee and Steven like to sing. I was thinking about something like a musical surprise, something that would involve the whole family. That's a great idea. Music has always been a part of our lives. And I'm sure Debbie will be the first to tell you that it's, it's been a unifying force in our family. I kind of feel like it's helped them in, in many ways. It's given them confidence in their schoolwork. It's given them physical coordination and, and inroads into social areas that um, others that didn't play piano didn't have the opportunity to do. 
Also, the idea of, of, of mental coordination. You know, piano playing is a, is a real skill, and it takes a lot of, of self-discipline. We've noticed that that sort of confidence through self-discipline applies to other things, too. What we wanted most for our children was that they'd become music lovers, not great musicians. We knew how much music could mean to them in their adult lives and with their own families. And we knew that any abilities that they developed, they could share with others and they'd be useful to them later on. Leslie plays the harp and the bassoon. Nathan enjoyed playing the trombone in a school band. Millie still enjoys her violin and Tony is very active on his cello. You have to make choices. Recently, I had to choose between a ski trip and a piano event. I chose to go skiing this time, but I choose music sometimes as well. I remember the time when I had a soccer game after a piano recital. There was no time to change clothes, so I went on stage in my soccer clothes so I could still do both. I think it would be difficult for children to learn music, but there's so much music now that's written in easy to play keys and something that they can enjoy. I think that's the key word, enjoyment. Our family really enjoys making music together. This is gonna be a production. Maybe a little more work than we thought, but it'll be worth it. Yeah. Hello, oh, come on in. Good. good to see you. Good to see you too. Hi, Dad. Hi, Look, there's everybody. Hi, Grandma. Come on in. Hi, Hello. Tonio. Hi, Grandma. Oh, come on in. Hi, sit down. How are you? Mom, Dad, you've given me a gift I couldn't replace, and I think all of us feel the same way. So for your anniversary this year, we've prepared a special musical thank you. Now that's how it all begins. Yeah.